It's no secret to state that the whole world is finding daily life just a little bit bothersome at the moment. Many countries around the world are shuttering non-essential businesses and desperately trying to stem the rate of infection from, you know, whatever you want to call it. Unemployment is dramatically rising and I'm sure some of you are wondering if you will have a job to return to when things go back to normal. Or perhaps you're in a so-called essential industry and you're wondering if you can avoid infection. My heart goes out to you. But suffice to say, with everything else going on, the last thing that most people are thinking about is when they're going to get their next new car. But for those who are eagerly awaiting the arrival of a Tesla Model Y, events of the last few months have probably caused some of you to wonder if you're actually going to get that new car or not. But it turns out that Tesla has figured out pretty well how to get people their new cars while simultaneously ensuring that all appropriate precautions are taken. And having just heard about it from a couple of you guys, I think it's probably worth sharing here. But before I do, I do want to acknowledge the donations that Tesla's made over the past few days to the healthcare industry's fight against the thing that shan't be named, which is frankly a very commendable act of good citizenship an incredible generosity after many, including me, criticised Tesla's initial ignoring of the shelter-in-place orders in the Bay Area last week. In total, Tesla has sent 50,000 N95 surgical masks to the University of Washington's Medical Center, as well as handed over 1,000 ventilators to the state of California. According to Elon Musk, he was able to buy the latter as surplus equipment from China. So well done, Tesla and well done, Elon. It's also good to see Tesla join Ford, GM and other companies in offering to build ventilators. And when I know more about that, I'll make sure I tell you about it here. But that isn't the topic of today's video. Model Y is and the contactless handover. Because Tesla's sales model is very much not like your regular car dealership, the majority of the handover process that you would normally have to go through at a car dealership is actually already taken care of ahead of you going to pick up your car. And because Tesla has been delivering its cars in China throughout the current crisis, it's had a couple of months to get really good at this for its North American customers. Financing, credit checks and even a rough estimate of the value of any trading cars you have can be taken care of ahead of your arrival. And instead of walking each customer through the process of how to use their car, Tesla's now got videos on its Vimeo site for customers to watch again and again to help themselves familiarize themselves with their new car in their own time. When it comes to the actual process of handover, Tesla arranges the time with the customer and ensures that the car is ready to go before the customer arrives. According to the folks who've picked up their car, Tesla ensures social distancing is taken care of in every instance. Tesla actually makes sure that the car is sanitized and cleaned ahead of pickup and makes sure that any physical paperwork that needs to be signed is similarly prepared and sanitized to make sure that any contagion risks are kept to an absolute minimum. An example of this is the fact that the customers sign their contracts with a brand new pen and then the car is remotely unlocked for the owner to check out. While there's been a few variations on this, it appears that the standard practice is for Tesla staff to instruct the owner to set up their smartphone Tesla app with their car. That's a fairly well-practiced procedure now. I mean, Tesla's made and sold more than 100,000 cars. And after that's been done, the customer can then check their car out. That mandatory photo that the owners normally have of their new car? Well, most Tesla staff used to take a photo of you and your new ride with your phone, but they've just transitioned to taking a photograph with their phone and then emailing it or texting it to you. Because Tesla has remote unlocking via its telematic system, and there's actually no physical key needed for the car to exchange hands, the actual process of getting your car ready to go is pretty much zero contact. Customers are told to go out and look at the car and to let Tesla know if they notice any issues with it by turning on the hazard lights or just waving or gesturing to the staff that are waiting inside the store. These issues can then be safely taken care of at a future service appointment, or if it's a really small fix, ahead of the customer's departure. This is all without breaching social distancing practices. As for Tesla's supercharger network on the way home, well, that sadly still requires maybe some common sense and some disinfectant wipes, especially when you grab that charge cable. 
But for the actual act of getting your new Model Y, well, that's easy and pretty low contact. And since Tesla is still pushing these cars out, you should still be able to get your Model Y. And going for a drive is technically social distancing. While Tesla may be the most practiced when it comes to socially distanced handovers, though, I should, of course, throw out the fact that there are other companies that do the same thing, getting you a car with minimal contact, including used car companies like Carvana, who I'm told has a pretty minimal handover process. And then, of course, there's companies like GM and other legacy automakers who've just started advertising online sales and direct to your door delivery. Is this the new way of getting your electric car? After all, some dealerships in some parts of North America are still on partial lockdown for all but essential maintenance. And isn't this the way of ensuring that those companies can still survive and still give you your car? And doesn't it look like Tesla's leading the industry yet again? Let me know below. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. Send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon or feed our coffee habit with Kofi. I'll be back soon with more content for you all to enjoy. But until then, stay safe, wash your hands and keep evolving.